OMYS wants to know what will happen if we get caught flying with no remote ID. Okay. Um, we can try to answer this question by looking at drone pilots that the FAA has interacted with in the past. And the general approach that the FAA seems to take is that number one, they reach out to you and they try to educate you. I'm not saying it never happens that the FAA comes right out the gate with a fine. I'm not saying that they couldn't do that, but in general, and I, I don't know of a case where they've come right out the gate with a fine. And I know of several cases where they come out and they, they contact the pilot. They say, hey, we've had some reports about your flying. So this is the first call you get from the FAA. Hey, my name is so-and-so. I'm an FAA inspector. And we've had some reports about, usually it's a YouTube video they're complaining about. Uh, if you were flying without remote ID in the real world and Karen called the cops and the cops came and the cops said, show us your, show us your FIA card, young man or young woman. And then like at the end of that, the cops took your information and referred you to the FAA for uh, investigation. That's how you would get a call from the FAA. So I guess the first, first thing we should say is that the police can't enforce FAA regulations. Only the FAA can do that. Only the federal government can do that. But what the police can do, security guards, police, whoever, is they can get your information and report you to the FAA at, on suspicion of breaking the regulations, then the FAA can investigate. So you, you now you get a call from the FAA. Hi, I'm so-and-so. I'm an FAA inspector. We've had a report that uh, about this YouTube video or about this day you were flying in, in the park. And they may ask you questions. There was a video that Stinger Swarm made where they were on, it was Thanksgiving Day or Christmas Day, and they were diving buildings in Atlanta. And Stingy's told this story, so, I mean, I feel completely fine telling it. It's not like it's a secret. The FAA called him, and they said, hey, uh, we understand that you were within 400 feet of a building. Therefore, you know, you were fine to be doing this. Um, we're just, as a courtesy, could you tell us like what safety precautions you took? And Singy was like, like, for example, how did you make sure you weren't flying over people? And Singy's like, yeah, it, you know, it was Thanksgiving day. So no one was at work and we had people spotters who were watching for people walking as we were diving to make sure we weren't, uh, you know, over anybody. We didn't fly over any traffic, yada, yada, yada. And the inspector said, well, cool, you're good. Next time, it, we would love it if you would show some of that stuff in your video so people know what kind of, you know, how you're doing it safely. And that was the end of it. Um, sometimes they will call you and they'll say, hey, you know, we think that there's been a violation. Uh, we think that you were flying and you didn't have remote ID. And in, in those cases, I've still seen, and obviously remote ID isn't a thing yet for most people. So, but I've seen cases where they have a, a, a content creator made a YouTube video and said, hey, guys, in this video that I put out, it turns out that I was breaking the rules. Uh, and uh, the FAA called me and asked me if I could make another follow up video telling you guys that what I did was breaking the rules. And not like from a confessional standpoint, but the FAA would like you to know what the rules are. And so I'm going to use my platform to say, hey, this thing I did in this other video, turns out I shouldn't have done it. And thank you guys. Um, if, if the FAA feels like they're not getting anywhere with you, then they may decide to try to find you. And at that point, you can fight them in court. You can try to ignore them. <laughs> uh, you can, you know, and hope that, that, I don't know. I've heard of, I've heard of, I'm not, I, I'm not sure if I was told this in, in, in confidence or if this was for public con, 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 consumption. So I'm not going to say who, who this was, but I've heard of one case where someone got fined by the FAA and just ignored it. And then the FAA referred them to the FBI and the FBI was like, I don't know, what, what, what do you want me to do? And then it just, nothing came of it. 
So, um, Quad Doc suggests just tell them it's your first day flying and you don't know what they're talking about. I mean, maybe if you got caught driving a car without a license and a cop pulled you over and you said, sorry, officer, it's my first day. I didn't know I needed a license. That would not get you very far. Now, obviously, this is not the same situation, but maybe you get it. Maybe that would help. I mean, it depends. It depends. You're technically in violation. If the cops come, you run. Uh, RC King 97. Don't run from the cops. Like. Don't run from the cops. I mean, worst case scenario, like all you need is a cop coming after you going, why are you running? Why are you running? That's that's going to end up with you tased or shot or tackled or I don't know. Don't don't run from the cops. Just my advice. We need the equivalent of a screen on timer for remote ID talk. Hey, somebody asked the question. I'd be careful with the belief that cops won't enforce FAA rules. If they want to, they will find something or anything to charge you with. Fair, but it will have to be a local ordinance, not an FAA regulation. They will make up bullshit local ordinances that they can enforce on you, though. You have the right to remain silent. Always remember that. True. For FPV pilots, the police are kind of aware this is a different hobby. Usually, if you explain why you're flying a bander, they just say, wow, and leave you alone. Valid. This is one of the, how about when the police come and ask me questions about my drone, I somehow lose control far away. I don't, this is, this is like, let's say you're flying and you don't have remote ID and, and you get a tap on the shoulder. Excuse me, sir. I'm a cop. Can you land your drone? And you go, sure. And you just set it down on the top of a building somewhere or uh, behind a tree and you go, oh yeah. Okay. And they're like, uh, we need to check to see if you've got remote ID. And you go, yeah, uh, good. I don't, I don't know where it is, sir. <laughs> I mean, anytime you're lying to the police, you're at some risk of making your situation worse. But yeah. What? No. Oh, carbon cage. Oh, Blunty. I know why you didn't click. No, not this one. The license is a contract that can only be enforced by entering it via complying. That's not how any of this works. What fantasy world carbon cage? I, don't, I, I'm, I hope I'm misunderstanding you. That's not how laws work. That's not how any of this works. Here's the thing, dude. On some spiritual level... Like, maybe you're right. I don't know. I don't think so. But realistically, th that statement that if you don't comply, you have not sort of consented to the contract. Therefore, you're not bound by it. Okay, well, good luck with that while they fine you. They're still going to fine you. They're, you're not going to win that one. If yeah. you don't know what a speed limit is, you still have to drive the speed limit. It's the sovereign citizen argument and... And here's the thing. I I am I I'm not I don't think that I need to engage every sovereign citizen everywhere in their arguments about why they believe what they believe to make my point. So I'm I'm going to just sidestep the question of whether what sovereign citizens believe is like real or not. You can have those beliefs that like you don't need a driver's license to travel on the road because you're not driving, you're traveling and they don't, you know, your your corporate person versus your real person and all that not stuff. You can have those beliefs, but then when you get pulled over for driving without a license, guess what? Your your the cop is going to impound your car and put you in jail. So being spiritually right doesn't get, save you from the consequences of your, of of the government deciding to do mean things to you. 